This is Simon Robinson reporting for Time.com. The tiny Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan, a Buddhist state high up in the Himalaya, is known as the land of the thunder dragon. It is a country of exquisite beauty, fiercely held traditions, and not a single stoplight. Three years ago, the fourth king of Bhutan, Jigme Singe Wunchok, announced that he would step down in favor of his son and that the country would become a constitutional monarchy. On March 24th, Bhutanese voters go to the polls to elect their first democratic parliament. After a century of well-loved royal rule, many Bhutanese were horrified by this idea. They look at democracy in neighbors such as Nepal and Bangladesh and see unrest and chaos. But the king insisted, explaining that no nation should be in the hands of one person and that change should happen while the country is still peaceful and prosperity is growing. The election commission started teaching people how democracy works. This video explains how to use a voting machine. Kuzu Sambo, Iwem Semedi, Togin Tsusi Tuchi Dig Mii. But learning democracy is no easy thing. On a recent Sunday in the town of Kuratang in the verdant Punaka Valley, workers from the People's Democratic Party, which at just over one year is the eldest of Bhutan's two main parties, pitched a tent in the courtyard of the town's temple. Buddhism is central to life in Bhutan, and temple grounds are often used for town meetings. But just then, a local election official called to say that no political party could hold a meeting near a temple as the brand new draft constitution separates church and state, much like in the US. A party organizer argued that their choice of venue had nothing to do with religion and everything to do with the temple's nice lawn and handy power outlets. But a rule's a rule, said the election official, and campaign workers had to quickly tear down their tent and move the meeting to a dusty, half-built hotel nearby. There, it was a scramble to get ready. Party worker Yeshi Tenzing explains the problem. We are not sup- supposed to have the meetings nearby the monastery, as per the election commissions. Right. But this is the first time you're having a meeting here in this town? Yeah, third time. Third time. So you're just learning still? Yes. By the time the party leader finally arrived, the crowd was less than enthusiastic. Though people did cheer up for the second act, an all-singing and joke-telling entertainer. Around the country, both parties are busy signing up members, electioneering, and even tossing some mud about, a fact that most Bhutanese hate, fearing that it will hurt the country's social cohesion. In many ways, Bhutan has only just begun to deal with aspects of modernity that people elsewhere take for granted. Television was introduced just nine years ago, for instance. As the outside world intrudes on Bhutan's traditional way of life more and more, some people worry that things are changing too much. Democracy is yet another thing to worry about, not unwelcome altogether, but a reason to believe that the country's future is a little bit more uncertain.